business to get down to, but before we do, was this is a very special day. First of all, Pete, welcome back. Thank you. We've forgiven you for just, you know, you got no excuse. Thank you. No more, no more smoking in your house. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting to get at you about that. Have you quit? Yes, sir. That's, you, uh, that's a hard way to quit. <laughs> Now this is, we don't need this here. Any more to me? We can engrave it. And uh, if you did then, Chesterfield ads, didn't you, one time? What? Did you do Chesterfield ads <laughs> one time? You know? As a matter of fact, that ad is something that any time you ever see it again, I want you to look carefully at it. I never smoked cigarettes, and they didn't even have me smoke one for that photo. The studio in those days had the control over that. They could have you do um, endorsements to advertise whatever picture was, was coming out. And uh, that was nothing but a plain still, and that cigarette was done in by artwork. I never had a cigarette in my mouth if you're trying to pick up a steak. And you look at it very carefully, and you'll see that in that you couldn't do that today. You had to be Paul Capitone. That's number one. Now, number two, Dave is Del Vada. He became a grandfather this morning. That is enough to make it a very special day. Here on his natal day, his birthday, is Paul Laxalt. Well, after the traumatic experience last year, going through six zero, the rest of it's a cakewalk. Is this a meeting or a celebration? Kind of like. Well, no, we'll get down to the meeting now. Congratulations to everybody. Um, I know everybody's eager to get out of town. The office recess including me. <laughs> and I thought this was a good opportunity to get together and maybe review the, and get your assessment of the legislative outlook. Any chance that you adjourn by Thanksgiving? <laughs> but um, I know that you're probably all aware of all the indicators, so I won't go into them, but I think we can all be very upbeat. The economy is doing fine. The inflation rate for 12 months has been at 2.6 percent. The second quarter gross national product figures, of course, were 8.7, which is beyond anything any of us had ever estimated. But uh, the housing starts, the retail sales, the leading indicators rose again in June for the 12th consecutive month. And uh, the, the unemployment, I Friday, the figures are supposed to come out. I don't know, have any idea what they will be, but I do know that for some time now, we have been continually having a lower initial application for unemployment insurance than we've had in the last uh, two years. <coughs> On arms control, there is some initial signs of progress in Geneva, and I think the approval of the MX uh, sends the right signal to Soviets, and I think that the chances are improved that we're going to be able to get balance with their fundamental arms reduction. In Central America, I'm going to be asking George to brief you on the current status, but before I do, I'd just like to call to your attention that the problem we face in Central America is a serious one. We're all going to have to work together to develop solutions. It's an issue that directly impacts on our interests, and we must begin on it. <coughs> And if not, it's going to take a lot more resources to do so later. So I'm sorry that there wasn't sufficient timely consultation on this issue last week. And we're going to take care of that problem. Except that, I'd like to bring your attention that uh, it wasn't any premature announcement on anybody's part. Somebody just leaked. And uh, the whole information was out there. Yeah, just
Just to sort of make it even Stephen a little bit, have a belt buckle for me. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> He's <laughs> even. Yes, sir. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> Two thousand of them. You remember asking oh, my staff? Hey, oh, it's nice to see you. Pleasure to see you. Ed has been working very closely with Bob for a number of years. In fact, worked with him in private business. Has been a political consultant. So I think he's somewhat 
somewhat responsible for what's happening. Huh? Have you re-registered yet? No, sir, but I will as soon as I get home next week. Oh, boy, if I'd only thought to have a registration. <laughs> 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 you know what happened to me when I re-registered? I'm going to get a separate Speaking at a Republican fundraiser, who was still a Democrat, 1962, <laughs> and a woman stood right up in the middle of the audience, in the middle of my speech, and she said, have you re-registered? And I said, just what you did. I don't want to remember what I did. She said, I'm a registrar. I walked right down the center aisle, put the paper on the podium. <laughs> <laughs> I might find one for a go. <laughs> Professor, can we get one picture with you and the governor alone? Yes. yes. And we have to do one with Ed also. Yeah, yeah, let me give it this one. Okay, Ed, why you sir. Thank you very much. I look forward to helping you. Said that then she announced to them that she had sent the wire to that right. was warmly received. Oh, good. Good. And there's a local radio station that's been getting call ins from women mm -hmm. mainly that they don't want that other woman representing them. Oh, okay. Okay. Jason Hart. Right till the last minute, she was just fawning all over me, having come over there. And then to come back and find her just. Hi, how are you? I've gone over to my from the National Commission on Libraries because he has single-handedly started this library in Elsinore, Utah, population 680, turn it that way. Well. And we congratulate you, Jason, for bringing the attention of the country to rural America and to the need for libraries. We appreciate all that you have done and we felt that we should honor you in this way. We're very happy to do it, present you with this certificate Thank you. of appreciation from the National Commission on Libraries and Information Science. There. Thank you. Well, Mr. President, 
We have a gift for you, too. This is the logo of the National Commission on Libraries, and it signifies equal access of opportunity to information. On behalf of all citizens, we have also for you a new National Library logo, which we would like to present to you for the White House Library. Thank you very much. We have one for Senator Hatch. Oh, thank you so much. You may use it wherever you wish. Thank you. And we have one for Jason for his library. Well. And now I think, Mr. President, Jason has something he would like to present to you. Mr. President, I would like to present you first the first, first public library card to my library. This is the first card that you issued from the library? Well, thank you very much. I am very proud to have that. I thank you. Mr. President, would it be possible to have this family get their picture taken with you? The what? Could we have the family get their picture taken with you? Oh, yes, we could. Yes, we could. Let's go. Get it up. Everybody stand out here on the rug. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. That's great. There. If you'll send those to me, I'll get them. Okay. No, or just one of those button pictures. Listen, thank you so much. Appreciate it very much. These are good family. I mean, not Utah, and we're very proud of them. Just want to say, man, we're glad to have this honor. I raised my kids telling them that they could never be lonely if they had a book. And I, I think to this day, my nightmare of what would be one of the worst things would to find myself in a hotel room or someplace like that uh, and no nothing book. to read. Mm -hmm. uh, lose my mind. <laughs> could, could she have a picture and, taken with you? With, and with Jason. Yes. Three of you? Right. Why don't you tell me come over here by me and then we'll, we'll leave the present after this one. Thank you. Mr. President, thank you. I sure appreciate it. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you. Whatever you're shaking hands with it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks again. Thank you. Hey, hi, how are you? Good to see you. Again. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good I am. That's the highlight of the day. The workout, right? Yeah. Yes. Scott. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. How are you? Fine. Why, why do I ask? I'm going to give you a word to tell how good you are. Or how good you are. This is how good you are. Good. 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 Father. Good. 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 And I have the honor of presenting you with seven million on your presidential fitness award. It has been awarded. And I don't know why he's turned that way. Well, I'm delighted to do it. And I understand that you were state championship pole voting, sir. Yes, sir. And you play football. Yes, sir. What position? Tailback. Right. Tailback, running back. Okay. How fast are you? Fast enough. <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> I was a right guard. Really? Yeah. Oh, great. I did pull ball and ran a quarter mile. Oh, yeah. that's a killer. <laughs> Picture. Okay. 